Oh my goodness, everyone. This is that huge Timu Hall of orders 13 through 24. I want to be able to get through this as fast as possible, so I've tried to line everything up. Yes, you can see a lot of what's here, um, but we will get through it. Honest. All right. The only way to begin is to begin. Right up here we have, from Order 13, this is Crystal Craft Ink Pad. It's in green. Uh, light green. This was 69 cents. Next up, silicone brush can be used in the kitchen or for uh, artwork, crafting, etc. But once you do that, you cannot use it on food. Okay. This was 59 cents. A pack of four seam rippers. They were 98 cents. One pack of snips. I think we all know what snips are. Um, I'll quickly try to get this out of the package. It comes in a plastic pouch. And it's just basically for while you're sewing or crafting, it's a quick snip. And because I do work on computers and such, I purchased this little kit. It is a toolkit for precision type of work. It comes with, uh, oh my goodness, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30 bits, an extension, and the ratcheting screwdriver. The price on this was $2.57. <clears throat> Excuse the frog in my throat. This is a pack of 10 7.8 inch zippers in multitude of colors. It was $1.48. Then uh, <coughs> next, excuse me, getting ready for Halloween, it is a spider web stencil. I plan on also making a silicone insert for this. The price on that was $1.48. And then we have eye screws. These did not come packaged like what I'm going to show you. I had to do this because the U.S. mail uh, destroyed the package it was in, and there were eye hooks uh, missing and uh, all over, so I had to count them and put them in something safe. These were all in a pack of 100 pieces each, and so we have... Uh, it doesn't say what size they are, but they are very small. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get it up a little closer. The bronze is probably easier to see. And this one is basically kind of a white gold. There were 93 left in that. 
So only a loss of seven eye hooks in the mail somewhere. The bronze had 102, so I'm actually up by two on the bronze. So that means I'm down only by five eye hooks. Uh, nickel, which is more of a silver, if you ask me. Um, 101 was left in this, so it this one and the bronze were not compromised in the mail. Goof. Uh, so I am only down by four at this point. But the gold, which was in the worst condition, seems to only be missing only one. They taped everything together. And, well... It is what it is. I'm not going to ask for a refund for what the mail goofed. I should, but I won't because it's so few missing. Uh, next up, I have for $5.69 a pair of shoes. These shoes, though not all that comfortable, I'll tell you that, were not that expensive. But on the inside in here, there are little bumps. And I, this, oops. There are little bumps. I don't know if it's for massaging your feet or whatever, but I have swollen feet. And having swollen feet, you don't have bumps on the bottom, uh, where, where your foot can actually get onto so they're a little uncomfortable because of that, and I'll be looking for something to put in there to soften that. They are a size nine and a half, and they do fit. Um, okay, next are items from order number 14. Now, I'm not doing any molds at this time, or jewelry, because there, this is gonna be long enough as it is for the in general things. So, out of 14, I have only two items I'm going to put in this video. And one is a clock movement with white hands. Nothing extra special about it. Um, I bought it because I have a clock. I need to replace the hands. A mechanism because the hands well only two of them work which are the second and minute so uh, it sits at six o'clock and whatever minutes and seconds in the day and this is the white version I won't put that in my box because well I just don't want it destroyed because in, on the, one of the next ones here, uh, my one I really wanted got destroyed in the shipping. Uh, when they sent it from the Timu office in California, they shoved it all together with other things and it bent the hands. And these here are a pack of six silicone can covers so that when you open the soda or something, you can put this over the top of it and be able to keep more carbonation. This was, oh did I cover the clock cost? No I didn't. $1.68 for the clock and these were $3.58 for six. Okay. Next we're going to go on to my large blanket I bought. Yes, I'm a Halloween baby, so uh, at 62 years of age, going to be 63 soon, um, I'm still all Halloween in my life. And this here is a blanket. It is a 150, 150 centimeter by 200 centimeter. And as you can tell, um, it's close to like a queen size, I believe. 
but it was $16.19. And yes, it's all bats on here. All right. Now to get, okay. And then the next clock one, it is red. It came with two sticks in order to keep the clock hands from being bent. Now I wish they'd sent the other one like this as well, but you'll see. Um, but, oh my goodness, I just slide it out of there. It still didn't help it keep from being too bent or, or too straight, so, but those are the red ones. I am thankful it does look as badly bent as the green that I have coming, which is a luminescent one, and unfortunately, well, it's not going to look that great all bent, and it probably won't work. That one I will probably ask for a refund on. Uh, that red clock there was $2.48. Next up, I have a summer dress. Why I have a summer dress right now? I don't know because the weather is so wonky. And it's been cold. But it is... Uh, a little bit larger in the armpits than I would prefer for myself. So I will be wearing probably a lightweight undershirt for it. And let's see if I can get this up here. I know what, my desk is stacked tall. But as you can see, the armpits are quite huge. It didn't look like that in the picture, but you know, it's a Timu thing, I guess. Nothing is really what it seems to be um, when they try to picture it. Some things are always larger. Some things are smaller than you were expecting. Um, that dress was six dollars and 29 cents and then we have oh my goodness let's see if i can find it I'll, I'll, I'll pass that up until the next video um this spoon um first off it's got extremely sharp edges so you're gonna have to use a um a wire wheel or something to remove all of that. Uh, it's a, listed as a coffee spoon. And it is a 78 cents. Um, but it is extremely flexible. Don't use it for anything other than coffee. Stirring liquids. Okay. And then we have, I bought two of these, one in this order, which is number 15. Sorry, I forgot I moved on to that. Uh, but I ordered a second one after. Uh, this is a cuticle clipper is what it's called. But they're awesome for using for clipping um, nails that are kind of a little bit uh, not normal. See if I can get this a little closer and if it works better. Now, these also, this was a dollar, I mean, excuse me, it was 89 cents. Um, it is in black because I hate shiny. It messes with my eyes. And they are thin. Very thin, but they work. They're not as strong as I was hoping them to be, but they work. All right, next up. Uh, let's see. 
if I can find what I did with the sewing stuff. Okay, that's the second one there. All right. This is a foot for my sewing machine. It is meant to help guide your hem. And its price was 80, excuse me, yes, 89 cents. Then we have our moving on to number 16 because I don't, I, I want to put all the jewelry in just one. Okay, so. Uh, my goodness. This is a set of three jewelry pliers. We have what's known as, actually, people don't call them this anymore, but they're called dykes. They're, built, they're um, just for cutting straight edge uh, for wire, etc. So wire cutters is what they're called now, period. Um, pair of needle nose. And a pair of um, conical pliers that are pointed so that you can get certain sized um, oh geez Cert certain size spacing with wire it came with a pair of tweezers and to help open jump rings this goes on your finger and you just stick a jump ring in there and twist Right, there's that. I'm not a huge jewelry maker, so you won't see a lot of that from me. But I do like to dabble in it. Next up, I decided to try these laundry washing sheets. So these go in your washer. There is a pack of 60 in here. So that's supposed to go for 60 loads. They are supposed to be biodegradable. Um, I can't read Chinese. I've never learned, so I can't tell you what all this means down here. But, yes, biodegradable. They, these were... Oh, did I give you the price on those pliers? I didn't. The price on the pliers was $6.29. The price of this was $2.69. So if these work really well, I will let you know. And that would be an inexpensive and more eco-friendly way of washing your clothes. Okay. Next, I have... A crafting stuff um, I'm gonna go ahead and add into here because I want to put them safe this is a pack of 50 1.38 inch starfish two dollars and 48 cents and I was quite shocked in the condition that they came in because these were just thrown in loosely into that crushed package of all my things getting shoved into one package that they could possibly fit into and uh, not many are broken some are some aren't um, I think I can hide some of that when I do my resin projects all right now that that's safe and out of the way um, All right, then comes something I bought for my sister-in-law. She loves the ocean. I'm not sure how many times she's ever been to the ocean. 
but I purchased this nice shower curtain for her. It is, well, I don't like to open up the stuff I'm going to give away, but the link for this one, it's going to be in order number six or 15, I believe, 16. Oh my, yeah, 16. It's going to be in order number 16 in the list in the description box. Um, so you'll be able to see what that looks like. I also bought her um, the bath mat to go with the um, toilet cover, the toilet seat cover to go with. And Okay, that's the larger bath mat. Okay, so that's the large bath mat. It is cushy. This is, okay. Um, I'm not sure if this is the toilet seat cover. I, I believe this is a toilet seat cover. This is the mat that goes in front of your toilet. Okay. The toilet seat cover was $3.59. The toilet mat that goes on the floor in the front of the toilet, it was $3.59. The mat that goes in front of the tub and shower is five or was $5.39. And the shower curtain with the rings was $11.19. Okay, next up, this is an anti-static wrist bracelet. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you people know what that is. And basically, I purchased it because yes, I've worked on computers, I still do once in a while, but that's not the point that I bought this. I wanted to try to see if when doing and handling things like glitter while doing resin that this could possibly stop the static movement and that just snaps on there like that. This clips on to um, a piece of metal. It's an alligator clip. So with the wrist strap on, that's supposed to prevent static discharge. So I'm hoping it prevents the static problem because glitter just gets everywhere. Okay, I know this is starting to get long. So, okay, I'm going to stop with, I guess, number 16. No, not just yet. Uh, the next comes... I'm going to have to go backwards here a little bit. Okay. This here is a, oh, what the wrist strap cost was, oh my goodness, $1.77. If I miss a price, it'll be listed up when I edit the video. This is a hot dog, silicone hot dog bun pan. That's what they called it. They called it a pan. There is no stiffness to it, as you can see. It flexes quite well. There are six on one side, six on the other, so you can make a dozen hot dog buns. Uh, when you go to use it, you are going to absolutely need something like a cookie sheet underneath it or a flat baking sheet of some kind. And the price of this was twelve dollars and eight cents yes I am going backwards so on my order here real quick because that's the way I stacked it unfortunately all right um, next comes these items now I won't worry about doing the next orders with this Somehow I missed this. Oh, I know. 
I'll get to it on the crafting one. Oh my goodness, okay. This here is a mantle scarf for Halloween. It is going to be hard to see, I'm sure. I'll see if I can get something underneath it real fast. I'll go ahead and put this back under for a minute. As you can see, it's a spider web. And at the bottom of it is a bat. This is all lacely done. Um, so this is just a lace bat. These are... Uh, 37 inches long or wide by 22 inches long, $2.18. I bought two in one order and one in another order because I want to put them across my front room window and, well, a total of 74 inches isn't going to do it for that window. I may even have to try to find out if they still have them and purchase a fourth one. Hopefully they'll have it if I, that's what I need. Okay, so that's these others here as well. Get these put away real fast. Okay. Next is a yard flag for Halloween. I'm trying to get that focused in there. This is quite small, smaller than I thought it was going to be, but okay, you know. Um, it was $2.69. Then we have the green clock one. Oh my gosh, what did I do with it? I tried to keep it safe because, well... I really do like it, and I, th oh, there it is. Uh, every time I check, they don't have any more of the green. It is a fluorescent, or, you know, it'll glow at night, so you can see it. And that was the pur purpose of getting it, because I'm very, uh, my eyes are very bad, and I need new glasses, and... Well, now you can see what kind of condition I was talking about with it being severely bent. It just is so warped that it will never come out straight. So, it was nice looking. Now it's just kind of garbage. I'll get this up a little closer. You um, can't really see, can you? Uh, it is warped. It's it's bad. So now that I've put this on video, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, return for that one because that one there had cost a dollar ninety nine, but it's the principle of how they packed it. Uh, so next up, six piece set of Halloween cookie cutters. Um, four dollars ninety eight cents. Let's see if I can get it up here and get the light off of it a little bit. Kind of hard to see exactly, so we'll put this back down again so the light's underneath. So it's got kind of backgrounding in it. Never know which way to draw it, to <laughs> move these. Okay, so like I said, that was four dollars ninety eight cents. And then I have a 10 pack of socks that, weirdly enough, they were supposed to be free, but I got charged $4.49 for them. This is what they are. I do like them. They do stretch well enough. Uh, and they meet my needs.
Okay, that's order set number 17 that we just went through. Next up is this shower. Uh, where to go? Oh my god, oh, here it is. Shower head. I bought this because, well, it's good for um, a camp shower and it has an on and off switch so that you're not wasting any water while you're doing your shower and camping. It does come with the hose and a wall bracket, which I won't be using, but I'll use the hose. I'm sorry, but people need showers while camping. Okay, um, that was pretty much, um, oh, then I bought this stapler, let me see if I can find it, I've, I've actually had to use it, and it works really well, brand is, I'm not, I, I'm probably going to really rip this one up, Huachi, and it's a number 275 stapler, it works really well. It's almost as good as uh, the Streamline ones or whatever they call those, that brand. That was $2.48. And that was order 18. Order 19. Of course, I drop everything. Number 19. Okay, what we have here is, uh oh, there it is. Luminous powder, glow in the dark. There are 12 colors it comes with normally, I suppose, but it's got an extra three, so you get a total of 15 colors in here. I haven't really opened these a whole because I was afraid to. Um, it comes with two spoons. As you can tell, the packaging, the way they did it, I have a broken spoon. Luckily, I, I have others. Um, comes with a little mini uh, UV light. And I'll give you a good representation real fast of the colors. I don't know what their names are. Uh, matter of fact, oh, okay, this one's called Punk. I'm not sure how it's going to glow, but I'll show you those things when I go to use them. Um, this one is called Orange Red. Looks really different in my camera. Um, purple. Sky blue. So it's white and then it turns sky blue. This one is just blue. This one is blue-green, white until it gets activated. Yellow, very bright yellow. Olive bean, so it's a uh, olive colored green when it activates. Purple red. green. As I said, I'll show you the activation when, it hap when I use them. Orange yellow. This one is red. Oh, that one's not showing up very well at all on there. 
And these are the three extras. These are glitters. And there's pink. Blue. Although it says pink blue or punk blue. I really can't read that. Pink blue. So it does change in the lights. So was that actually, yeah, just pink. And then there's lemon yellow. Okay, so that's that with those. And then we have the staples that, um, that I had to order separately. Um, came in a pack of five. And there are um, 1,000 staples per box. So it was 5,000 staples. Yes, I have the other box open already. Okay. Oh, the luminescent powders, I'm sorry, was $20.79. The staples, $4.98. Then we have up next is these little display lights. Uh, one is uh, the warm color. The other is the white color. I'm going to use those for just good representation of some of the resin items. Each one was $2.58. And then for shipping things that are able to be shipped really um, simply, there are a pack of 12 that cost me $1.78. Um, bubble mailers. <coughs> I don't know what I did with my tape measure, so I'll, they're like a five by seven. And sorry about that cough. And the bubble mailers were a dollar seventy-eight. Almost through this kind of stuff. Pair of times four reading glasses. Uh, they're warped because they were also crushed in that package. Um, they sent several orders together, of course. Once it hits LA, that's what they do. They package them into smaller packages. Um, they don't really work for me, but my eyes are really crap. I was hoping, but oh well. Um, those were $1.48. This is the yard flag stand. It's not all that tall. It's a 16. It says 16 and a half by 35 and 0.4 inches. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies are crazy. Uh, $4.17. Then there was a cloak. Um, I left it in the bag because I have cat fur everywhere all the time. Sorry about the crinkly. Now this is just a Halloween cloak. It's not very thick. It's very see-through thin. And a good representative picture on the um, order when you go to look up anything on order 20. There's only these three items that I just showed. The cloak was $5.88. Um... Okay, let's see, okay, this box here, this box has 
Um, they're called bunny tails. And this is a pack of these in blue. They're very pretty. That was six dollars and thirty-eight cents. And then I bought this for my sister. <coughs> Excuse me. Seriously, I'm really sorry about that. It's got a pair of hoop earrings, or not really hoop earrings, well, the hoop back earrings. Um, I don't know how well that's going to come up, but it's a little girl in rose color with a horse. It has the earrings, the pendant, so you could probably see the pendant a little bit better. Um, and a bracelet. So I'm not sure which one's which. But I can't get that to pull apart. But I'll get to those. Well, actually, you can just see them on there if they're still available in order 21. That will be shipped to my sister very shortly here. She used to own horses and she's had some really bad luck with them. But I love her to pieces. So, um, I gotta ship that off before she sees this video. Two pieces of spray bottles. Oh, wait. Um, I probably won't add that one into the list for uh, order 21 because, you know, surprise, surprise. Anyways, uh, two pieces, spray bottles, uh, 60 mil, $1.88. I really am trying to go as fast as I can, folks. Because this isn't even covering the molds or the jewelry. This, I bought four um, panels. They are 100 by 200 centimeter or 39.3 by 78.7 inches. They are uh, green shears with um, plants on them. Three dollars and fifty-eight cents each. I'm running out of room to put things again. All right. Uh, next, as you can tell, resin damming tape um, for doing open bezels and such. I'm just put that up that way. That was $1.52. Then we have these pretties. These are stags. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out. I've already pre-opened it, so I'll pull the little insert packaging out. They're delicate, very, very delicate, and they are miniatures. And this is what the little guy looks like. As you can tell, very tiny. These are going to go in a resin project I have planned, which you'll see soon. And then that's the, the, the stag, the male stag. Then they have what they call female stags. Not so sure a stag actually, a female stag, a doe would have antlers, but Probably, who knows? Possibly. And she's about the same size, just 
the antlers are a lot smaller. I would call that a, a baby stag or a young stag. I would definitely not call it a doe. And they come very well packaged like that so that they're, they're not broken when they get to you. Okay. Uh, those were all $1.99 each. And then I have two of these. These are black to red, red to black uh, shifting powders. I had one open, but I don't know where it went to. Oh, I see it now. I bought two <laughs> different orders, of course, because I decided I liked it a lot. And I'm not going to open it because I don't do well with powders going off in the air. I don't know if that's going to give you a good representation. But I will show it when um, I do the resin project. They do come with a sponge applicator because they are basically for nails. One of these days I'll learn where the lens is. So I have two packages of those. They were $2.24 each. And that was all for order 21. Well, not really, because I still have the molds and jewelry to go through, but you know what I mean. All right, next up we have order 22. And that was, okay, that was part of that one. Um... Okay, paint brushes set. Um, ten piece, dollar ninety eight. I picked a green color. Uh, these are going to go as part of a gift giveaway uh, when I reach my first one hundred subscribers, and when I reach. Um, Say a thousand subscribers, I'll do another giveaway. Um, not much more to go here. We have okay, yeah, that was all on order 22 for now. Order 23. is nothing but molds, so I'll cover that when I do the molds. Number 24, so the last one. Um, well, wasn't anything on there either. So how did I, what am I missing? What order did I miss? Oh well, anyways, I'll catch up to it. Um, I think I just missed this one on uh, the previous order. Yes, I did. I am sorry. Um, this is a one set of reindeer moss, uh, artificial, 50 gram, 1.76 ounce, uh, for $3.81. Well, I missed a couple things. I'm trying to go backwards real fast to try to catch up to them. I missed them, but I did. I'm sorry, people. Um, anyways, the taco ones is probably far, far back here.
I'm sorry, but uh, I don't. I, I, I don't have my normal uh, helper with me right now. I think he's waiting for me to eat. And so I'm going a little bit slower, and I'm really sorry. I'm trying to catch up. Oh yeah, and I missed these too. Pack of Luminescent. This is 12 in here. They were $4.39. And you will get to see um, their abilities when I do my resin. And put that aside. I did say $4.39, I believe, on them. Oh. Yes, and then that glitter that's ultra fine. There are, as you can see, uh, 12. They were $5.43. They do have shaker lids. I will not be using a shaker lid because I'll get it everywhere. And let's see if I can get this turned out of the light so that you can actually see the glitter. All right. Uh, the last one to find is the taco shell holder things. Oh my goodness, how did I miss that? I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to go ahead and pop it up on the uh, video when I edit. But this is a pack of six. Oh, there it is. A pack of six. Um, these are just basically for sticking your, your tacos in so that they stay upright while you're filling them and trying to get to them to eat. Uh, they were total of a whole dollar 49 cents. Now, I'll get to everything else on the next video. If you like, please uh, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you want to. If you do, please hit that bell so that you'll be notified on the next video upload. And um, comment, please, because it really helps me know what you want or don't want in videos. What you liked um, in the purchases or what you didn't like in the purchases, etc. Um, also, if you feel like it, please share. Awesome. Have a wonderful one.